decan outlet. This is to answer the question with dewatering. I personally recommend where you can get gravity drainage out of a basin, you build one of these or something like these because you can open a valve or, or lower the arms and you don't have to run a pump. Pumps are problematic. They need generally, unless they're float, float valve activated, they're going to need labour, they're going to need fuel or power um, and they can stir off the bottom. So decants, the way these work in Caloundra Landfill is one of the reasons we're going there. You'll see one of these. It's a permanent sophisticated one. They're T-bars and they basically skim the clean water on the top. They're a PVC pipe, screw caps on the end, um, which is the float. Underneath that is another um, PVC pipe with holes drilled in it. So the float keeps it up high, the holes is where it starts to, to drain through and we generally have three of these within a basin. So the first one only kicks in when the basin's down the bottom. The second one might kick in halfway through as the basin fills up and all three are engaged when it's getting higher up. Um, the Kiwis use um, three litres a second per hectare when they do these and each arm I believe takes 4.5 litres per second. The guideline when you're designing type A basin, so this is only type A, you get to choose how quickly you want it to go out. Generally we're saying a maximum of nine litres per second per hectare. Um, that's what I've been I guess doing a lot of the, my designs off but um, you can choose whatever you want, it's going to change the shape of your basin, but or not shape your size. You can drill more holes um, if you need it to go out quicker. But generally, um, if each of these are doing 4.5, um, 2 per hectare, but then if you've got a 5 hectare site, you're not going to put 10 or 20 of these in, you're going to drill bigger holes. Mm -hmm.